Hello everyone and welcome back to Reckham TV, the official web show for Texas Tech Athletics. I'm Travis Cram. Alongside me is Alex Ibarra from the Daily Torridor. Here to bring you the pre-game tips and keys to the game for Texas Tech in Kansas. First off, Alex Torres obviously had a good week last week. Big game. He's leading receiver on his team. You know, he's had a good week, good year so far. Yeah, he has. He has. He's been one of those guys you saw in the preseason and fall practices kind of step up and make some plays, especially last spring. And now you finally seen that coming to fruition. All right, it's talked a little bit with Alex in, earlier in the week to talk about Seth Dagey and some of the other teammates. Here's what he had to say. All right, talking now with Texas Tech wide receiver Alex Torres. And Alex, I mean, obviously a frustrating loss this past week, but uh, what is the morale of the team and what's it been like to kind of bounce back and we all looking forward to against Kansas today? Uh, exactly like you said, I mean, just trying to bounce back. I mean, it was definitely a frustrating loss. We didn't uh, show up and play the way we wanted to. So we're definitely looking to come out and uh, really go ahead and uh, bounce back and re like uh, regain our composure and everything and really uh, – set a statement for the rest of the season on how we're going to come out every game. With Daggy, what did he do differently that maybe helped spark the offense a little bit? I know that's kind of what Leach was going for in the, in the previous game. I think he brought in a, a sense of tempo and um, kind of momentum to our side. I mean, he really got out there to control the offense, got us going pretty quick, and just kind of went with the momentum that we that he, he brought in there and just ran with it. And All right, so obviously Torres will have to play a big part in this game today, helping out freshman quarterback Seth Daggy, who will get his first start today under Leach. First time a freshman quarterback has started under Leach, and obviously that's a big key to this game, Alex. Yeah, it really is. I'm really interested to see how Seth Daggy kind of takes the starting role in turnovers. I mean, it really, it really is going to be key on whether or not he can take care of the ball. you got to look at his mobility. This offensive line has been shaky. But you look back at last week, Coach Leach, great compliments for Seth Dagey. Said he was real comfortable, didn't try to do too much. 18 of 25, 146 yards, and most impressive, no turnovers. So if he can do that this whole game, Tech's going to have a great chance to win. Obviously, a guy that knows plenty about playing early in his career is Todd Reesing, the quarterback on the other side of this ball today. He enters his senior year. He is 218 yards away from becoming Kansas' first 10,000-yard passer in school history. He's going to play a big part in that Kansas offense and whether or not they can look more like that 2007 team that went to the Orange Bowl that year. Year. So obviously you're going to see a big part of that is Desmond Briscoe and Kerry Meyer, his two main receivers, big guys, they're physical, they can catch the ball, they can get yards after catch. Interesting to see who from the Tech secondary is going to match up well against them, whether it's Jamar Wall, maybe DJ Johnson, obviously the safeties, maybe you put Cody Davis or someone like that on those guys. Yeah, I think so, but you know, you got to look back at last game. The pressure that Tech did not get on Jared Gerard Johnson came back to bite them because he had all kinds of time to pick apart that secondary, and it'll be key to get some sacks and some pressures, even just some hurries on Reesing. Obviously, so Brandon Sharp, Daniel Howard, two guys that will have to step up this week. Didn't see a lot of them that last week, so see if Tech can pull out a win today. Leach all-time 28-7, and seven, falling a loss since he's been here through the 10 years. If he gets the win today, obviously it would be huge for Tech history because he he would tie Spike Dykes for the all-time wins record one more, and he would hold that record himself. Interesting note, though, when Spike did it, it was against Oklahoma in 1999, and the man alongside Leach on the sidelines for Oklahoma was Mark Mangino, who will be on the opposite side today. So for Alex Zabar, I'm Travis Cram. We'll see you after the game for the post show here on Reckham TV.